Had nine tackles playing in divinity spot then too. On a second and eight. Man coverage on the outside. A little back shoulder toss and they say incomplete. Back in middle school. It's go Tigers now as go Bulldogs in. Almost picked. He was off the hands of Christian Fulton. Reception on. He's reading eyes the whole way here, sitting in coverage. Avoid that matchup. Uh, they just caught LSU's Jacoby Stevens coming on a blitz, and he was two team. And they had a battle, and they'll have a few more tonight. Going to try the other side away from Stanley and Sam's. Safeties are the key to Sam Ellinger on first and second down. Chase on turns the corner, can't get there, and Eagles catches it and keeps his feet. Brandon Eagles into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. About the safeties over the top to protect these corners, even though they're talented. Fulton took a chance, a gamble. He tried to undercut it to make a play on the football, and he underestimated where that football was thrown. It got over top of it, an easy catch for Eagles. Walks into the end zone for the Horns. Who's the last guy taken? Bear, that's, I mean, that is that is remarkable for the success and stability of quarterback until Sam Ellinger yep. took the job and really asserted himself last year. Here is Ellinger on third down. Ellinger and the flag comes flying out. Yeah, he holding sex defense against an eligible receiver. This is a 10 yard penalty for the previous spot. Texas has moved it out from its own 14, picked up a couple of first downs. Ellinger taking a shot. Got to win those one-on-one -on -one battles. And Christian Fulton had really good coverage on Colin Johnson. He got the safety on the hash, Delpit, so he gets the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Good against good. Who's going to win? Fulton, one of the top corners in the SEC. You see the size advantage. Starts to get his hands around. The ball is way underthrown. And there's no interference at all there. Good job by Fulton to let it go. And, you know, that time it looked like Johnson was able to get downfield. But Sam Ellinger unable to get the ball thrown out in front of him. Instead, thrown behind. Cut. I thought he was going to try to get upfield and pick up the first down. Jason got off the snap quickly on third and two. And he took a shot for John Burt. And he was out of bounds. When he Running back, but over here in the slot against the backer. And Divinity is back in the game, and he drops into coverage. Ellinger plowing to the outside, and it's a first down. Texas at first catch of the night for Colin Johnson. Let me tell you something. That's big time. This is a big time throw on third down and long. Johnson, the, what you can't see is the back shoulder, but watch. On his return for the LSU defense. Ellinger on first down. Has a man out there. Ellinger and there's going to be pass interference flags coming on Christian Fulton. Well, we keep waiting for Colin Johnson to make plays, but they're just as confident in Brennan Eagles, the sophomore who's 6'4", who has great speed for his size. Fulton's beaten, has to try to grab onto him. Fulton's had a little bit of a rough night himself. Mm -hmm. Had a few pass interference calls. Well, that one might have been the rival. Sam going deep again, looking out there for e for pass interference. He's been behind the receiver, trying to catch up to him. This time, he doesn't bite on that stutter and go. So you see how he's looking back at the football in phase. He can get away with a any point that a &M had a chance to win that game. No. Texas has had chances tonight to come close, and they're still hanging around and trying to make one more big play. And Ellinger makes another one. Yeah. Nine yards to carry so far today. Pressure and Neal able to get it out of the backfield to Incomplete he's energetic he and, and I think one thing that he does is find ways to get all of his players involved And he competes in practice he competes in things off batted away on the opposite side. Sunlight throw on the field a little bit yesterday. Not uncommon. Here's Kalaja Lipskin. Nice move. And he dances into the end zone for an 18. Talented cornerback. So 
Nice one where he had a little bit of an angle at least. Not much separation, but the formation allowed Kalijah to get up. Wisconsin, Oregon State. Jobs opened up. But back this year, didn't want to change anything offensively. Quick hitter to Isaac Mariner. Getting worked on. But you love the throw here. Watch the throw coming here. You see Grant coming there. Takes a lot of the a brunt of that hit. Not sure what he hurt there. But we'll see. Two players being attended to will give us an opportunity to step aside. Up to the uh, buffet line. It's all about the ice cream. Yeah, he didn't have time for us at that point. <laughs> On a first. Love. Trying to buy a little time. Lost it up in the air. Passes. Caught a one-handed grab. I mean, but watch this foot one-handed coming down. And what a catch there by C.O.C. Mariner. That one is off the arms of a bigger safety. And the slots have been very productive for this Gators offense. Third down. Trask, play action. Survey, flips it across the middle, back in the end zone. LSU only rushing three. Grimes working from the outside. Hammond works inside out, and Grimes works. Total yards are approaching what Florida has been averaging, giving up in the game. Trask looking to throw downfield shot on first set into traffic and it's broken up by Christian Fulton. We've been around. It's uh, inside of 30 seconds. Trask takes off last minute, flips it short. And the crowd responding. And Trask pleasure gets it out. Fluttering ball fall. Not work out last series. Trask from the pocket. Downfield shot. One-on-one -on -one battle, and it's over the head. Trying to games on ABC next Saturday night. Trask now, a little urgency, two touchdowns behind. Zips it once again. LSU brings the blitz. They pick it up. Ball out. Catch made. He has Jefferson. He's falling back because of the blitz, because of that pass rush. Watch him look right. Comes back immediately. Doesn't even really have a chance to step into his down. He did. Now far side throw, catch made by plenty of time on the clock. Trask has time, delivers, intercepted! Picked up by Christian Fulton in a foot race! A flag is down, they drag. Watch nine, how low he goes on Trask. Hits him down low. It, it... There were two fouls on the play, both against the defense. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Low hit on the quarterback. Schrader looks right the whole way. Incomplete. Knocked out of the hands of. In a lot. Yep. Schrader got around Delpit. Little jump pass across the middle. Complete to Gidry. First down. The late to make the play. Saved the play by helping out. Forced Delpit to go wide and allowed the first down play. Walker looked at that almost passed up. <laughs> and Bo Jackson. Well, here's a long ball from Schrader. Got a man there. Broken up at the last instant by Christian Fulton. Best you can hope for. And Christian Fulton made up ground on the ball. Watch him make up the ground. Just a bit of a slowdown by Mitchell, and that allowed Fulton to make the play. Oh, he was in there with his arm. He never looked back and got 12 is the longest. And this one's going to be intercepted by Christian Fulton. That was on the long pass, Bates the quarterback. Watch him come up here and then break on the ball. He's looking at the quarterback because he's playing zone, and then he gets the inside receiver. That's what you do. Jam outside and then look for number two. And he comes in and gets actually number two. Not only the number of jersey, but the position. That was the only negative play in this drive so far. Here comes Delpit on the blitz. Schrader going to the end zone, incomplete, broken up, Christian Fulton. Schrader's going, I haven't seen enough of number seven today. Yeah, and, and Delpit did not kind of run over him that time. He was, uh, I'm not getting a penalty.